One of the many different ways that AWS ensures optimal performance for its many different customers and data centers is by imposing service limits on a number of different products. Identity and access management policies suffer some of this limitation as well in the fact that the policies are limited in the number of characters that they can individually contain. This becomes a big concern for us as we grow and evolve our security posture in AWS and the size of the policies have to grow or the number of policies that we have to leverage begins to grow. So in order to understand this, let's start by looking first at the inline policies. So if this is a user, then you're talking 2,048 characters, and that is across all of the inline policies. So it could be one large policy or multiple smaller policies that add up to this particular limit. Roles have a much higher inline policy limit, 10,000 plus characters, and groups have over 5,000 characters that are available there. And you can see in the way that they've set this up here, they're encouraging us to use roles and groups simply in the size limits that they're giving us there. By making user inline policy limits smaller, it discourages creating complex inline policy schemes. And so then that brings us to our second group of policies, which are the managed policies. And remember that these are either customer or AWS managed. From a design perspective, you can have 10 of these managed policies attached to a user group or role. So that means multiple policies with multiple statements inside of them that can help you accomplish whatever security objective you're looking for. After that, each one of those individual policies is limited to 6,144 characters. So if you do the math across your inline policies, plus the ability to have 10 managed policies and the notion that a user can live within a group, you have a lot of possibilities there. But just when it starts sounding like it really is a, a huge amount that you would never run up against, I have definitely seen organizations hit the limits on these and have to redesign their policies. For example, one uh, organization used a single uh, identity and access management policy for all of their user permissions. As the number of users grew and the number of unique scenarios grew, the number of statements grew and eventually they exhausted that policy limit and had to break the policy out into multiple different sub policies. So be sure to always consider those character limits on either your inline or managed policies. I'll see you next time.